I think you guys should just hit the subscribe button because you're happy I did not catch a heat stroke in this room while filming this video. Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. Today we are coming to you with another video. If I do one more video with my septum piercing all sideways. So today I am coming to you guys with this video of me turning myself into an e-girl. So I don't even know what an e-girl is. I thought an e-girl was like an internet girl, but if I Google, what an e-girl is, the Urban Dictionary says, definition one, e-girls are usually girls who play video games online and can be found either on Twitter or Discord. They send nudes slash thirst traps or even sell them. They can also be found on Twitch. The difference between a normal girl who plays video games and an e-girl is that an e-girl begs for money or sells herself for it. Definition number two, a new, spe <laughs> a new species of e-girl found on TikTok have risen up. These girls are usually teenagers that think they're edgy. They wear long sleeves, undeaf short, undeaf short sleeves. What's undeaf? Sometimes their outfits don't match, but they, but hey, if it goes with the e-girl ah, aesthetic, then usually they wear, then, wait, what? They usually wear vans, beanies, chains, etc. TikTok e-girls are not the same as the e-girls mentioned above. So, okay. Who comes up with these words and definitions? I want to know. The internet, man. The internet. Since the mid-20th century, each generation has had their own version of what is known as an e-girl. Think back to British punks in t-shirts destroyed by safety pins. In the 80s, they were called goths, love the cure, and dressed in all black with black hair and intentionally pale skin. So... The E would imply the e-girl is also very online. Well, I was right. An e-girl is a girl that is like an online girl. I'm going to do my version of an e-girl look on a black girl. So let's get started. <laughs> so I'm going to start with my brows. I'm using this Glossier, Glossier um, brow pout gel. Um, would Glossier girls be considered e-girls? Oh, while you guys are here, can you subscribe? Like, just scroll down. Just scroll down and click the subscribe button. That's all you gotta do. And then, and then click the bell notification. Click the bell so you're notified. So you can see when these videos are uploaded. So I think e-girls would probably do their foundation first. So that's what we're gonna do. I am using, oh, oh, I'm using these CoverGirl primers. This is the skin smoothing. My mirror is down here, so. E-girls don't even seem like the type, whoa, my face is so red. But e-girls don't even seem like the type to do their eyebrows first, right? Cause e-girls are soft girls, right? I don't know, man. And if you guys did not notice, I got my nails done. It was just me and my nail tech in the shop. Everything was sanitized and so we was being safe, okay? If I didn't get my nails done this week, I would have cried or something. I would have, I don't know. This is hella first world problems, but I'm telling y'all, bad bitch in me was depleting. Now I'm using the mattifying one in the places that I want to stay matte which is right here and right here and on my chin so my t-zone is where I want to stay matte so that's where I'm going to put it <sighs> remember when I was telling you that when spring comes around my skin gets crazy look at it like all and i've just been i've been picking at my face every single day i need to go to a esthetician 
I would look like freaking, I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. Okay. So I think e-girls love full coverage. Even if they don't, that's what we're doing today. For color corrector, I'm using the LA Girl Pro color corrector. Excuse me. Cash Doll has started a live video. I love Cash Doll. I don't listen to her music like that, but I know. Ice me out. Ice me out. Ice me out. Ice me out. Um, I don't know any of the verses or anything, but I know she says ice me out. It's gonna, we're just going to, you know, you know what we're doing. Blending, blending, blending. Okay, so for around my face, I'm using Born This Way Multi Sculpt Concealer in Mahogany. And I'm using that at the bottom of my face. Just because I feel like I am going to go lighter on the like on the top part. So now for my foundation, I am using Stila Aqua Glow. I love this foundation. For summer, this is the foundation I have. And I'm using the Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I'm going to mix these two. Hold up. And I was supposed to mix these on my damn hand. What am I doing? This is why I can't talk and do my makeup at the same time. Like chit chat, get ready with me's. I'm just going to add a tiny bit on my forehead. And I don't know if e-girls do like matte or glossy foundations. You guys put in the comments how many times I say the word e-girl. Oh, and I don't know if I told you guys this, but I wore this silver necklace I never wear silver as I'm wearing hella silver right now, but these are like real silver. Um, I wore this silver necklace and I don't know what kind of metal it was or if it was like mixed with different types of metals, but when I wore that, my whole neck, like you guys can see, my whole neck, <laughs> my whole neck broke out in hives. I think it was that that silver necklace I was wearing in that one video and my ass was over here like I don't normally wear silver <laughs> now for concealer we go in you know born this way what else it's like Too Faced why am I not being sponsored because like this is the only concealer I pretty much use do e-girls highlight? I think they do. Are e-girls glowy? I don't fucking know. Okay, we're gonna highlight. Bro, your base ain't cute. E-girls are more like cartoony-esque, right? That's how I feel like every day. Like my life is a motherfucking cartoon or some shit. I used to be a gamer when I was younger. Like I was really, really into like mario kart donkey kong like my brothers they had the drums they had the freaking hella controllers so all of us could play mario kart together we had mortal kombat that was my sh like nobody could see me in mortal kombat and actually i might buy a ps4 or a ps5 i guess now just so i can play mortal kombat i'm being dead ass like oh in crash bandicoot Bandicoot, Bandicoot, I don't know what his name was, but Crash, yo, when I was in 7th grade, like 7th, 8th grade, I had this best friend, her name was Katrina, she was my first best friend in America, and she was just the sweetest girl, and she came over my house one summer, um, for, like, break, summer break, and she spent, like, two weeks at my house, and all we did was eat, and play Crash Bandicoot. We was like, we were like Crash Bandicoot fiends. It was so lit, like shout out to her, shout out to Katrina. If you're watching this girl, I love you still. So I'm taking the Flesh S'mores foundation and I'm going to chisel out my cheeks. This is like the perfect foundation color. I mean, the perfect contour color for me, my shit. That, that, that's my shit. That, 
It's so funny that I'm singing Doja Cat and she is very e-girl, right? She did an e-girl makeup on Vogue. I was going to do a video recreating that, like um, recreating her look like the exact way she did it. Maybe not with the same products because I doubt I have all those products, but I was going to do that. Let me know if you guys want to see that because I actually kind of really want to do it. I love the Vogue, um, the Vogue Beauty Secrets videos. Oh, maybe one day I'll do one for Vogue. One day in the future, I will do one for Vogue if they still have it at that time when I'm popping. But darkening up my contour, I'm going to use hot cocoa. And my hair is just like two space buns, but they're in one hair tie. I was gonna film it for you guys, but I was like, you know what? This is so easy. Just put your hair in a ponytail and then do two space buns in the same ponytail. That was as e-girl as my lazy ass wanted to get. So, especially with my curly hair, cause my, my hair is like natural right now. It's just the front that I, these parts I straightened. And a lot of people be saying that I don't contour, like I don't blend out my contour right. And it's because I don't want to. I like the look it gives. Okay. I'm going to blend out my concealer. The only thing I don't like is my my cheeks are like this line from my nose. It's like the older I get, the deeper it gets because I'm going to use my favorite like concealer to brighten. This concealer is very Caucasian and I'm going to put that like right in the inner corners mostly. Just so I look like, but e-girls were like anime girls too. My girls that watch anime, girls that do things like that. Like, oh my God, I watch anime. <laughs> I mean, you know, I was like a Dragon Ball Z, um, Sailor Moon girl, you know. But now it's just like, nobody can go a day without saying they watch anime and it's like kudos to you for watching anime this has been my favorite combination as of late the fenty beauty honey powder this is a little bit too dark for under my eye and the pacifica cherry velvet translucent powder this thing smells like cherry y'all 11 11 Like, like, I wish you guys can just smell it. It smells like cherries. Like, how you do that? How you do that, do that, uh, do that, do that, uh, uh, uh. Do that, do that, uh. Okay, so I'm going to look up, blend out. Okay, let me get, let me get it ready first. Jeez, Jocelyn. You know how they say you start aging backwards? when you turn 25 you guys it's real it's a real thing it's not just people wanting you to get botox yes you start aging backwards after 25 because your girl turn, turn 25 and my under eyes my skin was like nah we grown we getting older up in here and I was just like, wow, you're going to do me like that skin. <gasps> How dare you? But for like around my face, I'm going to use only the Fenty. So e-girls, they do pink eyeshadow, I guess. Like, you know. So I'm going to use this Petite and Pretty. This is actually kids makeup, y'all, but I love it. I really, truly love it. Um... This Petite and Pretty 9021 Snow palette. I don't know if I want to go like super e-girl, like, you know, like glitter tears. Or if I want to go like soft e-girl. I'm going to go soft. We going to go soft. You can't give it to a dry like that. You got to get that shit wet first. Get that shit. Run that shit the fuck back. Holiday season. Before I use that palette, I'm going, this, you guys, this is my, 
<laughs> this is my <laughs> this is my lime crime venus palette this was like if i'm not mistaken this might be the first like eyeshadow palette that i got that wasn't like cheap old makeup but i'm going to mix this and i'm going to mix these two and i used to use this these two for my blush and i used to use this for my bronzer y'all i don't know what i was doing in life but I'm going to mix these and put them in my crease. I want something more pinky. Okay, I got it. I'm going to mix it with that color, which is Rebirth. And that made it more pinky, a little more subtle. I don't think e-girls care about their eyeshadow anyways. <laughs> like, they're more about the flushed cheeks. You feel me? Okay, I'm going to wipe this off before my eye turns into the sahara desert on top of that i'm going to add this like purpley color i'm just going to put that on top of my crease color because i think this e-girl should be should have a sparkly crease for my lid i'm going to put that pinky color and i'm going to mix it with that color and these are going to go on my lid Okay, scratch that lighter color, only the pink. Whew. Putting on these lashes is like getting slapped in the face by a bad bitch. Would you guys want me to sell these lashes? Because if you guys want it, I'll give it to you. Because these are fire. Look how they look on my eye. Okay, so I'm going to finish my eyes. I'm going to take this. This is the Too Faced Fancy Pink Diamond. I don't, I'm not sure if this is a highlighter or a blush. It's a highlighter. What the hell am I talking about? It's a highlighter. And I'm going to put that in my inner corner. This is what it looks like. It's pink, iridescent-y. You guys know I love taking my inner corner highlight a little up to give me that, like, I don't know, that openness right there. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, I'm giving sexy e-girl because I keep like licking my lips and stuff. I'm going to take this Shara. I don't know how to pronounce this. This is a erase pencil in light. And I'm going to warm that up on my hands. That's what it looks like. I'm going to put that in my inner corner. I'm going to stop like in my where my pupil is a little further than my pupil but I'm not going to take it all the way in the front black radiance contour kit I'm just really trying to finish this I don't really use the highlighter because I'm kind of over gold highlighters but I do still love this the look it gives me I used to do this a lot back in the day. Like, I know if I go back in my archive of videos that I posted, when I used to wear, like, hella blush, I used to do e-girl makeup, I feel like, because I had, like, super flush cheeks, like, hella blush. And a blush I am using, this Lisa Ray. I don't think you're a e-girl if you don't use Lisa Ray. Is it Lisa? Not Lisa Ray. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Lisa Ray, no players club. No, Lisa Frank. And I used to like love Lisa Frank too, but I just never got any Lisa Frank items when I was younger. Cause I, I don't think I could afford Lisa Frank items. Like they were a little pricey, but I got sent this Lisa Frank um, brush for free. So full circles. So I'm using this full spectrum, this CoverGirl full spectrum blush and highlighter duo or highlighter um, palette. This is in the color Rose Rush. And you guys, this color right here is just the prettiest pink. Like if you want super flushy brow, um, cheeks. So I'm going to smile and 
go in because e-girls love their brush. I mean, blush. E-girls really love their brush. blush, so we're gonna... We want to look like we got attacked by a blush. Yeah, we don't even want to see our nose. We just want to see blush. Okay. I want to look like the rose version of Violet from Willy Wonka. Instead of turning Violet, I'm about to turn into a little rose. Okay. <laughs> That's enough, Jocelyn. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm going to like tone it down just a tiny 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 bit okay you guys so i think that's it for my face now onto the lips so e-girl lips i'm using a medium brown lip liner this is by italia italia deluxe you guys this is what it looks like this brand has the best lip liners Especially if you're a black girl and you can't find like your right brown. They have so many beautiful, rich brown colors. This is Boat and Arrow by Kat Von D. So I know e-girls normally put a heart under their eyes, but I'm not trying to film my makeup. So I'm going to skip that part. Maybe on my like glam e-girl look. I'll do that but for now I'm gonna just stay and I'm going to add a tiny bit of this oh my gosh this is giving me like 90s you know when people used to wear the the like foily kind of lips okay so that is it for the look you guys I hope you guys enjoyed it please like share and subscribe now I'll talk to you guys in my next video peace